She did not want to lose her baby. Right. Don't you know, sometimes when you're threatened with losing your baby, you better know where God sends you, and you better know how to stay close to the one that God has sent you to. How do that together? You can reach the throne room of God and save and turn around something that seems like it's so ominous, something that's so uh, negative, you can turn it into a positive. Hallelujah. If you got faith in God. Right. But your faith is not, again, based on somebody else's faith. Your faith is based on your faith and your relationship with the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to pick up in verse 8. And it fell on the day that Elisha passed to Shunem, where was a great woman. And she constrained him to eat bread. And so it was that as often as he passed by, he turned in thither to eat bread. Now this prophet was on one of his crusades. And he needed a place to stay. This woman saw that there was something about him. And her heart went out toward him to give him a place to stay. Read. And then she said unto her husband, Behold now, I perceive that this is an holy man of God. Don't you know, you got to know the preachers that God said over you. You can't just let everyone pray for you. Right. Everyone lay hands on you. Right. Know them that labor among you. The Bible says for they watch for your soul. Hallelujah. This is why I say turn off them TV preachers. Stop trying to visit with a church that's not bringing the truth. Why am I a voice crying in the wilderness? How come I'm the only one that I know of that's speaking against homosexuality and lesbianism, speaking against uh, uh, abortion, speaking against sinful lifestyle. Hallelujah. Where are these other preachers? They're preaching prosperity, good luck, and get rich. But there's more to God than individual materialism. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And in order for you to be in the truth of God, you've got to be able to transcend flesh and get caught into the spirit where the spirit can reach a supernatural reaction from a supernatural power. And God is a supernatural being. In order to reach God in a supernatural, who's a supernatural being, you've got to get caught in a supernatural aspect of your life, which is spiritual. Miracles don't come to nobody in the natural. Right. Miracles come through a spiritual relationship right. with the divine creator. Yes. This woman needed a miracle. Yes. We're going to find out down the road. Right. Right. And she said to her husband, Behold now, I perceive that this is an holy man of God which passeth by us continually. Let us make a little chamber, I pray thee, on the wall, and let us set for him there a bed and a table and a stool. Let's give him a room. Yes. yes. Nice, comfortable bed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Table, in case he right. wants to write. Hallelujah, man. Amen? Yes, sir. Candle didn't have no electricity then. Yeah. We're going to give him a candle in case he's up at night. All right. Praise God. We're going to make things comfortable for him. Yes. Wow, yes. he's a man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's not just anybody That's passing right. through. Right. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Right. And it shall be when he cometh to right. us that he shall turn in to and it fell on the day that he came to her, and he turned into the chamber and lay there. Uh -huh. And he said to Gehazi, the, his servant, Call this Shunammite. And when he had called her, she stood before him. Uh -huh. And he said unto him, Say now unto her, Behold, thou hast been careful for us Glory with all you, this you, You've death. been good to me. Yes. Now, yes. Now, 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 God's going to be good to you. Hallelujah. What is it that you want? Don't you know when you go to a holiness church? Amen. And you reverence yourself before the Lord. Hallelujah. You're obedient to his instructions. Right. When you pray, all you got to do is tell God what you want. Right. 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 And I want you to know that it's on the way. Hallelujah. When you tell God all about it, and you get all you know how, right. it's well with you. Yes. Right. Everything is well. Yes, Lord. Nothing to worry about. Right. Nothing to be sad about. Right. I'm going through something, prophet. But I don't care what you're going through. If you got your hand in the hand of God, yes, everything Lord. is going to be well with you. It's going to be all right down the road, but you got to trust in God. Hallelujah. Yes, you're going to go through something. Everybody got to go through something. Hallelujah. But if you go through something with Jesus, hallelujah, everything got to be all right. Hallelujah. Read. What is to be done for thee? Would is thou be spoken for to the king or to the captain of the host? You want me to speak to the king for you? Amen. I got connection with the king. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I can talk to the mayor for you. Hallelujah. 
I can talk to the judge for you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Read. And she answered, I dwell yes, among Lord. my own people. Yes, Lord. And he Amen. said, what then is to be done for her? And Had a sister in the church mm -hmm. back on Seven Mile Road. Yes. They was about to take a house. Mm -hmm. And she came to me and said, would you go to court with me? Mm -hmm. I said, yes, but on the way down there, I'm praying. I said, well, mm, nothing I can do. Yes. Goodness, you didn't pay your house? No. They want to take your house? Ain't nothing I can do. But I kept that to myself. Right. But I told God about it. Right. And I went to court with her. Y'all heard the story. Yeah. The bank, who had some kind of lease or, or, or uh, holding on the house, yeah. and the real estate company, which had the original deed, they got in court and began arguing among themselves. Right. This is the true story, y'all. Right. Yeah. I'm not telling myself I heard I was there. Right. And, uh, the woman, uh, she called me up, the sister did, mm -hmm. and said, my pastor like to say something. And he said, well, uh, is he a lawyer? She said, no, he's my pastor. Amen. He said, well, I think the pastor ought to stay in church and let the court settle court business. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't say nothing. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying to myself, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, you fix it. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. The original deed, the uh, real estate company and the bank got arguing. And the judge up said, just a minute. Hallelujah. Case this minute. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do it out of court. Hallelujah. I'm trying to tell you what God will do. If you trust in God, hallelujah, and you know who to walk with, hallelujah, you know who's your present help in time of need. Praise God, I'm trying to let you know, sometimes when you can't reach God, you better reach a preacher who's living for God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Read, God. Yes. Yes. And he said, what then is to be done for her? God's I answered, verily she have no child, and her husband is old. Uh -huh. And he said, call her. And when he had called her, she stood in the door. And he said, about this season, according to the time of life. In nine months. Thou shalt embrace a son. You're going to have a son. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, uh, the husband was old. I mean, she's probably old too. Mm -hmm. But is there anything too hard for God? Right. I believe Sarah said the same thing. Hallelujah. And God said, is there anything yes. too hard for God? Right. Don't you know whatever Hallelujah. you're going through, whatever you need, God can work out that problem even though you can't see it yourself? Hear me close. Hear me close. Yes. When you separate yourself from the activities of this world and make up your mind you're going to serve God regardless of the sacrifice of God, and it's not no big sacrifice to live a holy and sanctified life. Jesus did it before us. And the apostles did it. Yes. And the old saints of old did it yes. before us. Yes. Hallelujah. I remember the time, praise God, when they didn't even know where tomorrow's meal was coming from. But when they went to church, they were shouting up a stuff. You never heard no sad testimony. You never heard no sad song. They was glorifying God, even though they didn't know where the next meal was coming from. Hallelujah. I'm talking about back in the 19, late 1920s, early 30s, when the depression was on the land. And they didn't have no... ADC and all that mess. They didn't have none of that mess. Praise be to God. But God provided for them as he provided in times of old. And God will provide right and will he do today what he done yesterday. Because the Bible says he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So I, hallelujah. I don't care what kind of burden you might be carrying. I don't care what it looks like. If you trust in the true and living God and plant your feet. Now you got to plant your feet. You got to be determined in your relationship with the Lord. And you can't base your relationship on somebody else's faith because everybody ain't got the same faith you got. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And she said, Nay, my Lord, thou man of God, do not thou lie against me. For thou don't lie to me. Don't tease me. Right. Amen. Uh huh. And the woman conceived a very son at the yeah. season that Elisha had said unto her. Sometime when God gives you a blessing, yes. you got to stay in the will of the Lord yes. to keep the devil That's from right. taking That's that right, blessing. Right. Y'all better hear me this morning. Yeah. 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 Anytime you leave holiness, you at the risk of the devil taking every blessing God gave you and taking it right away from you. You got to stay in holiness. If nobody wants to stay in holiness, you stay in holiness. You the mother. Hallelujah. You got to pray through. Hallelujah. Not that fathers don't have to pray, but I'm saying mothers, you got a relationship, and I'm talking about a mother child relationship. You got a relationship with your children that no man can experience because you carry the baby. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. He worried about the child sometime, but you worry about the child all the time. Thank you, Lord. If he watched the basketball game, 
You thinking about what my baby doing? Yes, yes. 